Well, it looks like Morello is really trying to make me mad. But I'm a reasonable person. What do they call you, son? Thomas Angelo. I've decided to give you a shot, Tommy. I like new faces. We're one big family here. Do you already know Paulie and Sam? Frank here is my right hand and looks after the legal side of our business. The one behind the bar is Luigi. This business ain't easy to swallow, but Luigi's a wonderful cook. Paul will introduce you to Vincenzo and Ralph. There are a lot of us, but those should be enough for now. Now listen, and listen good. We have some rules around here. Don't cross paths with the cops. They're on our payroll, so they'll leave you alone. But if you go too far, they'll all come after you. Money or no money. If they ever pick you up, say nothing, and I will take care of you. I show my gratitude to those people that helped me, and there aren't many left to betray me. Capiche? Yes, Mr. Salieri. I'm glad. Today I'll give you a chance to get back at those bastards who wrecked your taxi. We'll see what you're made of. Morello has a bar where all his gorillas go. They all have their cars parked behind the fence next to the bar. If you're good, they won't be there tomorrow morning. <laughs> Paulie'll go with you just in case. Go see Vincenzo for equipment and Ralph for some wheels. I wouldn't trust him so much. He seemed hesitant. He's just accepted now because he has no choice. We'll see, Frank. We'll see. I'm more concerned about what Morello's problem is. Does he really want to start a war? Vincenzo's a Don's gun expert. They've known each other since they were kids. I'll get you whatever you want. Tommy guns to cannons. When he can set you up. I always pay him a visit before a job. Buono giorno, Vincenzo. Ciao, Pauli. This here's Tom. He just started up with us. Pleased to meet you, Tom. What can I do for the both of you? We got a job to do. We need something to write off a few cars. This classic piece of sports equipment should do the job, and if not, I've mixed up a few cocktails. Careful with them, though. Nice a lot, Vincenzo. Bring back the bat. It's my nephew's. Sure thing. Ralph, I'll introduce you to as a complete idiot, but he's got a special way with cars. I don't get how such a moron could know anything about anything, but that's the way it goes sometimes. <laughs> a v v v v visit. How you all doing, Paulie? Hey, Ralphie. Yeah, I s s see you're still limping, so we got two c cripples working here. That's right, but I ain't a fool. Um, uh -huh. Ralph, this is Tom. If you bring him a stolen car, Tommy, I'll make it your own, and no one will know the difference. Ralph, Tom and me have a job to do. You're supposed to have some wheels for us? Right. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> it ain't no hot rod, <laughs> but it should really do for you. Thanks, Ralphie. Let's go.
So we're back, boss. Wonderful. Take a seat. It all went well. Sure, boss, he's a natural. Before they could say Ganolis, they were wheelers. And before they could recover, we were gone. Morello's probably pretty pissed right now. Really? I'm glad to hear it. He's one tough customer. In that case, welcome to the family, Tommy. You've passed the first it's test. It's an honor, sir. And now we've got a new member. I like to take him into the outfit, boss. You can see he ain't scared. And he's done real good. You didn't disappoint me, Tommy. Now, let's drink. Thanks. Today, we're gonna visit a few places to collect some protection money. Two restaurants and a motel outside of town. Bill at the motel was late last time because he had a few problems. So today, he'll pay a little more. You may have heard about how criminals can prey on businesses using various threats. That certainly isn't the case with us. People who pay us receive services, which the police certainly can't provide them with. Last month, for example, Sam and Paulie here solved a serious problem with violence in a delightful restaurant. The owner is now satisfied that nothing of that sort will happen there again. You'll do the driving. Paulie and Sam will do the collecting. It'll be routine. Tell Ralph to give you a car, and you can go. Okay, boss. Well, you and I'll have a drink. What do you say, Frank? <laughs> hey, Vincenzo. I need some kind of gun. Hey, Tom, I think this would do the trick. It should work. I wasn't planning on using it anyway. Thanks. Hey, Ralphie. Me and the boys have got a job to do, and I need some wheels. Hey, I s s sorted out what you brought me last time. It has a g g g good motor, Tom. It has almost 60 horsepower and goes a good 75 miles per hour. He has four s speeds and a brake servo. S simply b beautiful. Also, I had a look at how you could best s steal one. I used to drive one when I was a cabbie, so I know how to get into one, Ralphie. Well, then I got another little number. It uh, has about 40 horsepower and goes at almost 60 miles an hour. Ain't nothing swanky, but it's it's a good enough drive. You get into it easy. You just take take this little baby and stick it in here. P -p 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 pry it a little, and when it clicks, you got it. It's a piece of cake. Thanks, Ralphie.
Wait for us here, Tom. We'll be back in a bit. Okay. Let's go. Christ, Polly! Tell Salieri from here on out this place is ours. Capiche? Don't come back here, you'll end up in worse shape than your friends. Get Sam! They wanna beat some information out of him. Get him out of there! But I gotta get you to a doctor. That'll wait. First, get Sam. Screw regular routine. to work on you, buddy. Let's go. Oh, Christ. Uh, oh. It's nothing. Mm. You'll be all right. Doctor will put you back together again. Oh. You're tough as nails. Oh, oh shit. Mm. That's it. I'll get you back in the car. Uh, Everything will be okay. Don't move, scumbag, or I'll fill you with holes. Come on. Just try it. You won't get past me. 
Sure thing, buddy. Uh, just stay cool, everything's okay. Just go, no problem. Just try it. No. God. Uh, go. Get him.